This is a Windows Phone 7 app review of Pocket Files, which is yet another Dropbox application for Windows Phone 7 and available in the marketplace for 99 cents. So this Dropbox application has a really fluid interface and it even has an easy way to select multiple files by just tapping on the left here, just like in Windows Phone 7. And then you can move those to a different folder or delete them. And to move them, you just click move and then you pick a folder here and then you click the paste item and it'll move them. And there they are. So you can open up pictures and open up documents and everything like that. The pictures actually open up in a little picture viewer here and then you have the option to save the picture and you can zoom in on it and pan around on it. So that's really nice. And you can open up Excel documents, Word documents, and everything else. Those open up through the web browser here, and they download, and then you can open it. And then there's the Excel document. And then you can go back to the application here, and it resumes right where you were. There we were. It's unfortunate that you can't share documents, unlike some of the other Dropbox applications. So you can't right-click this or anything and share it to anyone. All you can do is move or delete it. You can't even rename things. But you can create a new folder. So that's good. And the reorganization options, because they have this really slick selecting system here, is really great. And you can also upload a picture by selecting a picture from your camera roll and then giving it a name once the little name dialog pops up. That sometimes takes a little while. So the little dialog to upload a photo didn't even pop up for some reason. So I'll try that again. This time it did. So I've had some problems with that before. But we can upload this and we'll just call it that and upload it. So we label it photo choose and let's see if it showed up here after it loads. So there it uploaded and it loaded here but for some reason it only shows this here. Photo choose and all the other files that are in the test folder were still in the test folder they all disappeared. So let's go back and then let's go back into the test folder and try to find our image. It's not there because the thing actually caches all your data and so you need to actually click refresh yourself to find it and for some reason when you upload the picture it kind of goes into that separate little thing where you just uploaded that and all the other files disappear and you have to manually refresh it. So that's a bit annoying. You can also upload pictures directly from your photo album here. So if you pick a picture here, let's say this one, and then you can click share, and then select upload to pocket files down here. And then you can label the file there. Sure, shared.jpg. And so we saved it there. But wait a second it still didn't appear. What you have to do once you give it a label is you actually have to click the paste icon right there and paste it into the folder that you want. So that's not really clear when you're first using this but when you think about it it could be a nice feature because you might want to put it in a specific folder and when you're uploading it you wouldn't have that option otherwise so using the paste icon lets you do that and there it's uploaded. Overall, this is a pretty good Dropbox application, but if it had features like the ability to share a link to something, that'd be really great. Or if you could rename files or something like that, that'd be awesome. But otherwise, it has a really, really slick interface, and if they update the little bugs with uploading pictures, this could be perfect. So if this Dropbox application fits all of your needs and has everything that you want, you can pick it up in the marketplace for 
99 cents.